hello everyone so in this episode we are going to create a blend tree like this so with this velocity as I increase the velocity here uh, the animation of this character will be blended in between idle animation and from idle to walking animation then from walking to running animation then from running to sprint so here is the preview There are slight mismatches in the animations, so I'll fix them later. But so here is the preview. Okay, so this is a one dimensional blend tree that we are going to use. And uh, after the implementing this one, I'm going to use this one and update this velocity through the script so dynamically this character will have the appropriate animation as we move forward okay so as you can see in this demonstration and uh, now this character has the idle animation set up but still it doesn't have the moment related more animations so it doesn't have the walk moment to run in moment or anything so let's work on those things today so yeah actually at the moment what I have done is this I have set up idle animation as the entry level well, that's all so yeah now instead of using this one animation let's create a blend tree and I'll call this one locomotion blend tree and here we can select a blend tree no just double click on it so then you can open the blend tree settings so when i select that we have parameters um mm, yeah i'll call this one the speed oh velocity and yeah as for the motions let me add a motion field yeah uh, here we have blend type 1d so we have 1d 2d simple directional 2d freeform directional yeah actually yeah let's first try 1d add the new motion field so for this one let me add the idle animation idle animation is here and yeah for the speed i'll leave it as zero okay threshold all right i'll leave it as one what's this um, i'm not ah this is called this is to mirror the animation okay and let's add another motion field this time i'll add walking wait what happened here okay this time I let walk in oh 
unfortunately it doesn't give the animation name it gives us the mixamo.com can I change that name because it doesn't look good uh, it seems I can't anyway um, yeah that's okay so here for the speed I'll add well one two mm, work in speed how much it should be well I have I don't have a proper idea about the speed that we should have so I'll just leave it at one to ten okay and then another motion field so here I'll add run in I'll leave it at um, wait how do I set this to okay I'll set this on 10 to 20 I'm going to change these values later for now I just want to set them this will be 20 to 30 okay now is there a way to preview this I set this like this all right now okay yeah we can preview it like this wait why does it so fast yeah well I think I had the wrong idea here actually I haven't done this before so I think this are uh, right 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 so this is the animation speed I thought this is kind of like this is the starting value for the parameter and then this is the ending value so I'm really sorry this should be like one for all and yeah now it works like this okay now this is better right right okay now let's see how to implement uh, this animation with the character animation controller so that means uh, I should be able to set up this velocity uh, set this velocity value through the script from the character controller or character script or whatever I'm going to use and then by changing that I can dynamically change the animation of this character according to the speed of the character and yeah I'll do that in the next episode thank you for watching see you in the next episode goodbye